Welcome to the Ram Film Room. I'm Mike Brohart, joined here today by volleyball coach Tom Hilbert. And Tom, you've got a really talented offensive player, Brianna Runnels, but there's more than one way to use her, but some of it has to be timely and, and precise. That's Can you correct. explain the back row attack to us? You bet. And she is one of the better players at back row attacking that we've had in this program just because she has the great ability to jump forward to a ball and, and get a kill. But Sometimes you, uh, our setters or our other players giving her the ball will do it at the wrong times, and sometimes she'll make the wrong decisions. So I'm gonna show you three scenarios. The first one is where she makes an error, and it's really not necessarily her fault. So Katie's position here is uh, one that is so off the court. She has to give it to her really high, and she has to give it to her at an angle that makes it hard for her to see the other side, okay? because she's really not, she's about 15 feet back here. Katie's coming from about 10 feet and it's a long set. So Brianna's vision really is only about this corner of the court. But what she knows from what we've told her is, this is, she knows this is not gonna be a kill. This is a difficult shot for her to get a kill on. So she's gonna try to do what we call manage it. And when we ask her to manage it, we want her to go over here to this zone because it's always best to hit into zone one when you don't think you're gonna get a kill. But what happens is, because this is such a strange initiation point for this play, she hits an error. Okay, so that's a tough situation. Now this next one, she's a little bit deeper. She's not in a, in a, in a uh, precarious position for transition, and Katie is a little bit more in front of her because the key is for Katie to be originating in front of Brianna, not s b b beside her. Okay, so she sets her up, and that one, she doesn't kill it, but she gets a much better swing. Let's watch that again. So Katie's uh, initiating position is in front of her, and you young people that play this game, you shouldn't set back row attackers when they don't have a good vision of the court. In here, this gives her a much better vision of the court. She can see both sides and she gets a much better swing at it. Okay. Now we'll show the third one where she gets a kill. Okay, now this third one, she is, you see Katie is well in front of her, almost in the perfect in-system setting position. And she's way back here with a lot of room to move. This ball's gonna get set with a little bit of tempo and she's gonna have a great vision of the other court. Gets a kill, i show that again. And when I talk about tempo here, it's really important for you guys to note this. It is easier to hit a back row attack when it's not really high, okay? So if you see this, this is not gonna be a high set and it gets a lot easier for her to hit it. So that's three back row attacks from different origination points. The last one is obviously the best. How important is it to have a back row attack in your offense just to give the team something to have to scout the week before you play, yeah. no matter how much you actually use it in a match? No, yeah, it's important that it's always potentially there. And I think that uh, a lot of we run a 5-1 offense all the time, which means in three of our six rotations, we only have two hitters. Well, Brianna, in two of the three rotations, provides us a, a third option, which keeps those blockers in check and keeps them occupied. What is it about Brianna that actually makes her a good back row attacker? The ability that she can broad jump to a ball and has a great arm swing. And she's very comfortable taking a hard swing at a flat trajectory, which is what you do in the back row. And she can really broad jump to the ball and that gives her great vision of the court. Well, thanks for joining us in the film room, Coach. You bet.